and I'm now joined by Mike Houghton, the CEO of the Reno Air Races. And what a pleasure to be here for the 2010 races. Well, great to have you here. We got a great race this year. Well, it's, it's been looking spectacular, and you know, there's been a great turnout that I've seen so far. So, for all of those people out there uh, that aren't, you know, familiar with the races, tell us a bit more about it. Well, uh, the way the races are structured, uh, the race pilots and their crews go through qualifying for two and a half days. And qualifying means they're, they're racing for time, speed, and positioning when they get into the different heat races. And they're heated up so they're uh, uh, matched by speed, so you get a very competitive racing in gold, silver, and bronze levels. And they get out there in a race course, and uh, we'll put as many as nine airplanes on a race course at the same time in every class. And uh, they will do, uh, on the Unlimiteds, over 500 miles an hour. They're flying 40 feet off the ground, behind, around what we call pylons. And uh, that's a lot of excitement. When you get a, that many airplanes at the same time, head-to-head -head competition. And uh, with speeds that uh, range anywhere from the slow guys that are running 230 miles an hour, uh, up to over 500 miles an hour, so it's a real adrenaline rush. I was going to say, the competition looks pretty fierce out there. So is it very competitive uh, for the pilots to come to the Reno Air Races as well? Well, it really is. Uh, there's a lot of uh, testosterone that goes on in the sport. Uh, even if they're the ladies that are racing, they really get honked into uh, trying to beat each other. So there's a lot of competition, personally and then professionally. They, they put their uh, uh, skills on the line, the crews do a great job of getting those planes prepped to race and uh, it's head to head and you can see as much competition in the sky between the pilots as you do with the crew chiefs on the ground. Sure. Now tell me a bit of the history of the Reno Air Races. How did it all start off and, and how come up at Stad? It started uh, when a fellow named Bill Stead, uh, who was uh, into uh, uh, hydroplane racing thought that, and he loved airplanes thought it'd be great to resurrect what was the Cleveland Air Races back in the late 40s. It uh, stopped in, I think it was 1947. So back in 64, he got together with a number of casinos and some of his racing friends and said, hey, let's go race airplanes. So 47 years ago, they went out in the desert and put together the first race here in Reno. Wow. So it's come a long way since that, hasn't it, really? Well, it's come a real long way from uh, crowds that were fairly small, five maybe 10,000 for the week to uh, well over 200,000 come from all over the world here because this is the only place in the world where you have close pylon racing. Nice. Now tell me, what is what makes the races here so special? I think it's the link with uh, all aviators and uh, the World War II airplanes. Uh, the most popular class is the unlimited class and we've got uh, a great variety of aircraft history out there racing from uh, Tiger Cats that are racing head-to-head, -head. first time ever two of them are racing. We've got P-51s, uh, Sea Furies, uh, Yaks, and they're out there. They've been highly modified. Uh, some of them have their wings clipped. Uh, they've got uh, different balances set up on them. They've souped these engines up and uh, an airplane like a P-51 that was uh, designed to do uh, oh, 480 miles an hour has the capability going over 500 miles an hour. So they've uh, done a quite a job in souping them up. And, and the future of the Reno Air Races? Any special plans coming up? Well, we've got uh, we have, uh, five different classes that are racing right now, plus a split class. The sport class is split into two categories. A sport, which is similar to uh, your, your experimental home-built aircraft, uh, to what they call a super sport. They're using uh, hot engines, uh, interesting fuel, nitrous uh, fixes in them, so they'll go fast. They're doing 420 miles an hour. To the, uh, the Unlimited, so we got the new jet class uh, that has really taken off this year. They've got 18 planes that are out there from uh, L-39s, uh, Viper, L-29s, and they're doing, the, the record is 561 miles an hour, set by astronaut Kurt Brown. Wow. <laughs> so big range of speeds from 230 up to uh, 560. I'm not going to presume to know much about planes, but it is really a really kind of awesome atmosphere out here. 
and to see a lot of what you've just been talking about over the last couple of days has been fantastic. So to anyone out there, I do recommend if you get the chance, get up here and see it.